Hi guys, I'm Shmi and welcome to the fourth day of the Wes Shmi 2014 Euro Tour. Today we're starting in Dusseldorf, where we're right now in Classic Remise, formerly the Mylan Work, which is a bit of a car storage museum sort of space. But the first car I'm going to bring your attention to is this Aston Martin 177. It's car number 67. It's actually the 23rd Aston Martin 177 I've now seen with my eyes, which I think is quite ridiculous. I got into them big style when I had a V8 Vantage myself, but um, it's pretty cool to see this one. Looks nice in the pearl white up on the ramps here. Not my favorite choice of wheels, that's for sure, but uh, another 177 is always a nice thing to see. I imagine it's private storage here, the owner presumably not wanting to keep it at his house or whatever purpose, but it appeared a week ago, so I was hoping it would still be here when I came down. There's obviously plenty of other very nice cars in here, though. Um, if I just swing around and show you what sort of the exhibition space looks like, there's the whole sort of, I think, showroom area down out there. But this little stand seems to be quite special, so you can see, well, obviously the GT2 RS right next to it. Both of other cars, I'm sure your eyes are drawn to that Ferrari F40 down below. I must apologise that I'm losing my voice slightly. A lot of days on the road with not much sleep to get to here, fourth day. The rest of the plan for today is to have a little look around here, around the classic Grammys. And then we're going to go and try and find somewhere to wash the car, which on a Sunday in Dusseldorf seems just about impossible. Um, if not, then so be it. But then we're going to go and do the meet and greet on the Koenigsallee in the centre of Dusseldorf afterwards. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the turnout in Dusseldorf is like. It's a wicked meeting with the fans and just taking photos and chatting, of course. So um, quite a relaxed day. No long drives. We're staying here today to do some stuff in the area tomorrow. But uh, let me go now and take a look around here. Emerged from the classic Remise, and alongside us is a Porsche GT2 RS. Those aren't exactly common cars, and it's lightly raining here, so that is probably the car you at least want to drive on a wet day, 620 horsepower. You know, the GT2 RS, carbon bonnet. To save weight, you even have a sticker for the Porsche badge, not even a real badge. That's crazy. Anyway, we're gonna jump in the car now, going for a last minute ditch effort to see if we can find somewhere to clean, and then the big meet and greet. Now we've been on a little bit of a mission trying to find car washes um, because as you can see from yesterday and the drift circuit, which I don't know in the video, yeah, there we go. Car is basically filthy. And I thought if we're going to this fan meet, there we go. How, come on, I mean, I like, I like my car being clean. I don't mind it getting a little bit dirty, but if we're doing photos and stuff, being clean would be nice. But um, the weird quirk we seem to have come across is that basically in Germany, it sort of seems a completely no-go to clean a car on a Sunday. Um, I don't know if that's law or if that's just what it is, but it seems really, really, really weird because you come to places and you have a machine like this that all you need to do is slot some money in and it wouldn't really hurt anybody if it let you. And you'd think that Germans would want to sort of grow economy and be clever about things and just let you put some money in and spend it but they don't. So no cleaning the car today and I'm pretty unimpressed to be honest. I don't really understand why you're not allowed to do that here. So we're gonna go off to the meet and greet and um, I'm sorry in advance to everyone that I can't make the car look nice although it probably bothers me more than it bothers you guys. But I'll catch you up in Dusseldorf. Just arriving then, just outside the Intercontinental. You can see the first person running up towards us. Get the photos, a couple of people around. It's always exciting. The trick now is going to be working out where to park. Nice turn out Dusseldorf. That's not bad, is it? I didn't think there would be so many people in Dusseldorf.
Epic turnout here in Dusseldorf. I mean, I didn't expect it to rival Amsterdam, but I almost think there might be a couple more people here. But, uh, here we go. Checking out the car, saying hello, taking photos, done a couple of autographs for people. I think that's a Maserati up the road making a lot of noise, but uh, awesome. Onward speaking to a few more people then, I suppose. Just coming to an end in Dusseldorf then, and what a fantastic crowd that was. There must have been about 200 people here. Um, I think I surprised the valet man at the Intercontinental a little bit, not quite expecting so many people. You're all on camera <laughs> to be here, but, but uh, <laughs> wicked, amazing. Thank you to everyone if you're here behind me. Thanks for coming, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing on, seeing a bit more around Dusseldorf. and we're here for the night. It's been a wicked day and it's quite nice finishing in the sunshine. A bit more relaxed than usual because tomorrow we're in for a treat. Kicking off going to visit Pace, the German Koenigsegg dealer, then we're heading over to Manhart Racing and from there we're then going to go to the Nürburgring to join RSR Nürburg and see what happens there. So a pretty intense day ahead, looking forward to day five a lot already but day four has been fun, the amazing crowd that turned out in Dusseldorf. Thank you very much to all of you. Anyway, it's time for us to go check into tonight's hotel and I'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers. The start of the 2014 Wesjmi Euro Tour. There is an epic adventure ahead of me 